this world that I could buy. No, no, nothing. To give me joy the way that you provide. I saw you first, I was craving for revive. Then fell for you before I even tried. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of the Dog House. It's your boy Scooby, you feel me? And today we got our first reaction video, you know what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't playing around. I told y'all we are gonna be a little bit more consistent and um, make sure I drop videos. I'm about to drop this as soon as I get to E, you know what I'm saying? She about to do a reaction to Chris Sales admits his wrongs and, um, you know what I'm saying, in that video that he just dropped. So I'm about to react to her reaction of the video. I was gonna do a reaction to my, like you know, to to his to the video on my own, but I was like, I don't want to get copyrighted, and I'm trying to start my channel. I feel like at least with this, I won't get too copy. If I do get copyrighted, I know she probably won't be too mad. She'll probably help me bring that out because you know she was here for. We was all here before. Plus, they've been um, going back and forth. Like I said, my mom was watching this, so she told me I should do something with this, like you know, this type of this stuff. Um, as far as like when they first started having it going on, like when Clarence first was going, um, saying certain stuff about what he was doing, and then Chris reacted, and then she reacted, and then he reacted to Chris. Be like, she was like, I should have been following all of that and reacted because maybe, you know, that probably would give us a little bit more buzz. Reaction video. I'm about to watch this um, and see what this guy was when we first watching with y'all. So here we go right now. Go ahead and start this thing for y'all. Watch that. Family, what it do? It's your girl Tamika, and I am back with another video. My pops, they won't hold me up. My time is here, my nigga, close me up. I was sleeping, but they gave a reason to poke the bed, and they don't woke me up. Hit the gas, and I'm fly, dog. Niggas cap, they be lied, dog. I'm on my bitch, you know what it is. Whatever they sell, I ain't buy, dog. Niggas lie to get close to you. Take support, dead toast with you. I hit the breeze, stay on my peas. You keep it cheap like I'm supposed to do. Shout out to my family. I like your intro. I really do. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't trying to spend too much time on it, but I like your intro. I ain't, like I said, my mom be watching stuff. I watch it with her, but I be the came in from work or came in from somewhere else. So I ain't never really seen your intro, but I've seen a bunch of your videos, but I like your intro. Family S&T squad, y'all the best squad. That's why I love y'all a long way. Please believe me. Thank you so much for coming back and tuning in. Look, I'm not even going to hold y'all. We finna jump right into this. I got bombarded in the last 10 minutes of DMs. Uh, Chris Sales has just dropped his song, I guess, where he explaining everything that happened in the past. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. The first DM I got, I was like, I'm not reacting to it. You know what I'm saying? Because I was still ticked off. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously. But, you know what I'm saying? In the DM, the young lady said, but, you know, that wouldn't be fair. Because you voiced your opinion about this. Now he dropped this. I want to hear your thoughts on it. I said, you know what, you're right, I'll give you that. So without further ado, we about to slide into the video, let go. Now before we get into this video, you know what I'm saying, I'm doing a live reaction, we watching it together, you know what I'm saying? So if I pause it and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, that's the reason why, all right? So don't be yelling at me. Now if you wanna hear the song in its entirety, go over to Chris Sale's page and show him some love and listen to the song over there. But this is gonna be like a commentary reaction video so i'm gonna be pausing stopping and going you know how that go so let's get into it the boy got no beard huh i see <laughs> and she instantly start going in now <laughs> I was gonna say at first she has every right to feel how she feel because he, he was on some other stuff at first like that other like come on bro you're a grown man bro we can't be arguing back and forth if you know what you did you know what you did that's just that simple but go ahead let me finish go ahead I'm shaved it down I hear you you know what I'm saying for some reason it makes him look a little older I would have thought it would have made him look a mad younger you know what I'm saying but he looked he looked older without the you know what I'm saying without the uh, full beard to me okay let's get it. When shit get hard, I gotta stay focused. You see the pain in my eyes, they act like they ain't noticed. And my heart was so pure, they never stayed on it. 
I put clothes on your back and then you tears on me. Why was he playing with the rose like that? I, I'm, I'm all right. Chris mess with the perks. I was thinking. I never even know that to the song. I guess he bearing this whole truth. I never, I never uh, knew that. You know what I mean? But I know that one reaction where he was reacting to Clarence when he was in the bathroom and he was doing the shoeing and stuff like that. I'm like, he got to be on something, damn it. But no, nah, let's let's get it. So he said that they was young when he gave her them bruises. I was like, hold first on. First step is admitting. See? I know. First step is admitting wrong, because that's probably what she about to say. What? I don't know if this is the right platform for this, brother. Again, not the right platform. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Let's just not make the same mistakes. You know what I mean? I'm hoping, you know, that Parker and Savvy... Wasn't you know what I'm saying? That's the thing. I be confused. I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt though. But the first step is in a minute. I mean, and he admitted it. Let's see what else he got to say. I say, mom, mom, I'm so sorry. I know you devastated when you read. I'm sorry. Ask me if I got a heart, and I respond to heart. So I said, I'm not sometimes I want to stop my heartbeat. Mom, 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 I'm sorry. I know you devastated when you read. I'm sorry. So ask me if I got a heart. Something I'm glad to be. Shade room, you getting all change up your strategy. It's belly skin on my body, the way they're dragging me. Don't even know. You ain't lying, boy. <laughs> the shade room, you shouldn't have no skin. That was a cold bar. That was a bar, bro. A bar. It's belly skin on my body, the way they're dragging me. I ain't gonna lie. It might be underneath my Instagram post next. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep it G. That was a good one, bro. And my, and my nigga on God, but. You know what I'm saying? That can change. He's the only person that can change that. You feel me? Don't be in Tory Lane's lives and shit. You know them folks be waiting to get a screenshot. They ready. You know what I mean? So you can change that. That's one thing you can change. Making a shade room. You feel me? I struggle why they mad at me. Even if it was my son, it wasn't hard as me. And when I had to go home, my son, that shit bothered me. And I've been running from my past, but I... Ooh, that's deep. He said, when that nigga hold my son, it bothers me. As it should. You know what I'm saying? That's why I be trying to, that's why I tell my brothers all the time. My younger brothers, I'm like, nigga, you better protect your nuts. You see, you see what I'm saying? Protect your nuts. You know what I mean? Because if you out here just sleeping with these women that you don't see a future with, you setting yourself up, my nigga. You setting yourself up to have your seed being raised by somebody else. It's just that simple. Now, I know it's going to be situations, you know what I'm saying, where you get into a relationship you think is going to last forever, and then it doesn't happen. I mean, that's shit that a lot of people can't control. I understand that. But um, I get that. It should bother you. You know what I mean? Like, that ass serious, it should. But then, on the flip side, you know what I'm saying, I'll be looking at the news, bro, and there's so many step step kids, I mean, uh, stepfathers and stepmothers that be doing these children wrong. So in your situation, I can honestly say that, you know, it should give you some relief that you got another role model, you know what I'm saying, that you know that's not harming your son and that's loving your son because that's the best thing, the next best thing that you can pray for. The first thing is keeping your family together. The next thing is if y'all do break up, the person who your significant other get with or your ex get with, you just hope that they embrace your children, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, like how you would. And I mean, a prime example of that is that Russell Wilson, like a lot of people be getting mad about that dude, but I feel like it's a blessing to, to baby future. Because I mean, somebody got to take him to, soft, uh, to softball practice and shit. Future around his mug, you know what I'm saying, doing his thing. So it's like he shouldn't have to like fall short on a kid's experience because his father is doing something else, you know what I mean? So thank God for Russ in that situation. And to me, I would think that by future being a man, that he would respect that, you know what I mean? But, you know, it's that alpha male thing, so I don't know nothing about it. Let's keep going. I don't think it's an alpha male thing, because me personally, I got kids too, so I, I know what that's like. 
as far as like you know having someone else be around your kid and stuff like that and i got girls so it's really different for me like i really be feeling some type of way but sometimes like she said it's out of your control but in reality you have to grow up and be it's about you growing up it ain't got nothing to do with you being alpha male bro you either gonna grow up or you're gonna be a kid your whole life because what is you gonna do you don't complain about it you don't do something about it you gonna either put yourself in jail so you can't see your kid then she's gonna go do something else to some other dude that you have no control over now because you're stuck in the situation that's stupid or you're gonna just look stupid arguing with her back and forth arguing with him back and forth causing a bunch of back and forth and then your kid end up actually liking this dude because he's a good dude or vice versa or something like that the only time i feel like you as a father should say something is when you know it's harming your child and you'll know your kid is speaking on that period my kid ain't never none of my kids i will give y'all all that my kid none of my kids ain't never just said that somebody did them wrong as far as like somebody else like you feel me so i respect that much like you know I like the lyrics to the song, you know what I'm saying? I don't like the I don't like the high pitch part though. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's the auto tune that's messing with me. The lyrics, I like the lyrics, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, but I don't like the screaming part of the song. You know what I mean? To me, I felt like, you know what I'm saying, he ain't me the whole song slap. I just don't like the uh, the high pitch part of it. That's just me, though. Drop it down in the comments and let me know what y'all think. And this is a reaction, my nigga. Don't be thinking that I'm hating just because I'm saying a certain thing. I just don't like those areas of the song. You know what I mean? To my nightmare. Just waking up to my son and see you right there. Now I pray and God will wake me from this nightmare. I'm sorry. I know you devastated when you read. I'm sorry. Ask me if I got a heart and I respond to Who passed away? Anybody know? Is this his mom or his dad? That's tough, man. I think he's saying what like, old him passed away. Well, there you have it. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said throughout the reaction, the only parts of the song that I did not like was the high pitch parts. Only because I couldn't really hear what he was saying really good. You know what I mean? It was just like a lot of auto-tune on those parts. But this was the song where he's saying he was bearing the soul. And I want to know how y'all feel about it. He did admit that he was young when he gave her the bruises. You know what I mean? And hopefully, he just do not let life continue to repeat itself. So I like to say at this point. You know what I mean? Hopefully, you use this shit as a turning point. Like you got the new beard. Just start over, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way I look at it. I want to know how y'all feel, though. Drop it down in the comments. Y'all know I'm... He killed me. She said he got the new beard. I'm through, bro. I'm through. She he got the new beard. Be a new man. Look, bro. I don't know smoke me there before you get started. I don't know if my video going to go viral or not, but I just had to do it because I was trying to get you. you know what I'm saying, y'all? I know how it is. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. But if it reach you, just know I, don't, I ain't come here for all that. I came here for her. A viral video trying to get my channel up there trying to get how y'all try try and be like you when i get over chris let's see but now nah, i'm just playing bro i ain't gonna do a friend i i'm being honest the song was cool i like the song um i just didn't like the auto tune like she said the auto tune's a little too much it, like i feel like you should have just went on that one like how you did the um the armand and trey song with with y'all i like that like that shows you like i'll be paying attention I like your music. You, you are not all of it. I like some of it, but I like that song and I like that um, how you sounded on that song. You could have did that on this song way better. Your lyrics on the song was fire. Everything was everything for sure should let people know that. Like it's a growing experience. Life is a growing experience. I don't care what nobody said. I shouldn't hold your past. You know what I'm saying? So never let your past be held against you. Is what I'm interested. But you know what I mean. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what y'all thought of this video. Tell me if I should do more reaction videos. Thank you for sure. Appreciate y'all for everything. I let y'all know. I can't deny. I can't deny.